Hey, there we go. That's the right button. Good morning, everybody. Time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I promise I didn't start any fires this morning. So uh, hopefully it will be a, <laughs> uh, a more normal session for us today. But uh, if you don't know what that's about, we had a little bit of a little bit of a fire in the backyard yesterday in the middle of the show. That's okay. All is well. The only damage was to the water heater. Anyway, I'll put pictures or something up of that shortly. Hey, listen, when you get here, do what uh, Joe and Abby have done. Leave a comment. Give a thumbs up. Say hi, wave, whatever is appropriate in your mind. To let me know that you are here. Those are always encouraging to me, and I appreciate that. And if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, maybe watching on YouTube, at some point you have to head over to 7 com so you can join in the conversation with these awesome folks that join me here every morning. All right. So this week, actually last week, I look back last night, last week and this week, we've been talking about winning. And uh, Monday, I promised you a brain chemistry lesson and then got uh, distracted yesterday and didn't get around to it. So uh, uh, so we'll do that today. Have you ever had a to-do list, been writing out a to-do list? You know, maybe it looks something like, like that. Uh, but been writing out a to-do list, and you put something on the to-do list that you had already finished. Have you ever done that? If that is, um, all right, here, I'll do it this way. If you've ever done that or ever thought about doing that, let me know in the comments. Just say, yeah, I've done that. And I'll look. I'll fess up. I'll be honest. I've done it. There's a reason why we do that. That's what I want to talk to you about today as we uh, get to... Too deep in in the uh, in, in the brain soup here, but the the there's a chemical reason why we do that. There's this hormone that's released in our brain called dopamine. Dopamine is the thing that rewards us for the things that we like, the things that we pay more attention to. Yesterday, I was talking about. Um, the reticular activation system that actually might have been on the radio when, but, but we've talked about it here before. It's that, that's the part of your brain that says, man, that's an awesome looking car. Nobody's going to have one like that. I want one of those. You drive it off the lot and you pull up next to three of them at the first traffic light, right? Once you've told your brain, this is important because there's so much stuff coming in. (laughs) Uh, There's so much stuff coming in that, your brain has to start filtering and it uses the things that you focus on and it assumes that because you're focusing on those things, they're important. So let me filter out all the crap that's not important and only pass through that stuff that is key. Aisha, good morning. You haven't missed anything yet. We're just getting started. We're talking about um, dopamine, brain chemistry. And this is just an example. This is not mine. It just happens to be what I write them on. This just didn't it. A uh, to-do list. So the the question was, have you ever added something to a to-do list that you'd already finished? And why do we do that, right? So your brain filters out stuff all the time. The things that you pay attention to, it assumes are important, so it lets those things through, all right? When you begin to focus on winning, right, winning, creating that result, that interim step toward your your success, when you begin to focus on winning, the brain begins to let through all the things that are relevant to winning, right? If, if winning for me is adding a new client a week, then it begins to let through all of the new contacts that I see coming in on LinkedIn or what have you, right? The reason that dopamine exists in our brain is to reward the positive responses to that. If I focus on, let's just say, for example, I'm going to keep running with that example. I need to add one new client a week. I focus on that intently. I am, I am zoned in on that. And so 
reticular activation system is kicked in and it's filtering out all the noise and I'm only getting those those new contacts and I don't follow up with any of them, I don't I don't get any wins that week, I don't add any new clients, then no dopamine is released. And after a little while, after, you know, a couple of recurrences of that, your brain gets confused. It's like, all right, you told me this is important, but you're not doing it. So we're not celebrating. I'm working really hard to filter all this stuff. I need that little hit of dopamine to keep me going. You're not doing it. Is this really important or not? And then at some point it just decides, okay, this really isn't important. I pushed that off. Now I'm focused on Big Bang Theory. Right? Whatever you focus on, that's what you get more of. You ever, I mean, yes, there's some algorithmic reasons to this, but have you ever sat down to watch videos on YouTube and the more you watch, the more you find to watch and the longer you sit there doing it? That's the, that's, that's a good model of this, this, uh, discovering reward system, this focus and reward system. So the point is, and what I want to bring to you today is describing those wins is super important because it gives your brain an opportunity or your mind rather an opportunity to celebrate. And then when you celebrate, a little shot of dopamine gets released. That's a reward to the, to, um, particular activation and, and your mind and says, yes, you're doing the right thing. And so what does it do then? It goes out and does more of that. Right. That's one reason why, I mean, this applies across life, right? But it's super important with your kids too. Right. And, and, you know, I, and I tell employers this too. I don't say this. I'm going to say this in public now and, any of you are watching that have, that do or have ever worked for me, I apologize ahead of time. Having employees is a lot like having kids, right? I mean, you got to focus on them. You got to understand what they need. You got to solve problems for them. A lot like having kids. So this applies if you have a team, if you have employees, if you have kids, if you have any group that you are responsible for. Take time to catch them doing something right and reward them for it. They'll get this shot of dopamine and they'll get a shot of serotonin. That's so there's four chemicals involved in this. The acronym is DOSE. Dopamine, uh, what did I say? Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and epinephrine. Right? Those four chemicals work together in your brain to do some amazing things. When you find somebody doing something great. Not only do they get a shot of dopamine, because it's like, yes, I'm doing something right. They get a huge shot of serotonin, which says, yes, they believe in me. And then what happens? They'll do anything in the world for you. You have to keep reinforcing that. Catch them doing something good, reward them for it. So in your own mind, set, set goals. Right. Set milestones. This is something we need to achieve. I need to make 10 calls today. I need to make 100 calls today. I need to add two new clients this week. I need to run an extra mile. Right. I need to do two extra push ups. Whatever it is. Right. Set that goal. And then when you get it, celebrate it. Reward yourself for putting the focus, the effort, and the attention, time, energy, and attention into creating that result. And when you do that, the rest of your body is going to conspire to deliver more of those results to you. It's awesome how this beautifully and wonderfully made mechanism that hangs on our shoulders works. The more you understand that, the more that you can leverage that to create the results you want. And listen, here, here's super bonus. Anybody want a bonus? Go ahead and, and leave me a comment. I'm going to get a sip of water here, so I'm juiced up for it. If you want a bonus, you got to leave me a comment. Otherwise, no bonuses. Okay, no, no bonuses today. We'll just have to wait. and I don't know. We'll see when those. It'll show up again at some point, maybe. Just like throwing those bonuses out when they come around. All right. So let's say Wednesday, 
let's see, Wednesday. Um, actually, I'm not going to be on the coffee shop show today, and I'm not 100% certain that Eric's going to do it. I told him I wasn't going to be available. But he didn't say whether he was going to do it or not. You'll just have to tune in to find out. Uh, coffeeshopshow.com, I believe, is what gets you to the right place. Um, but you can follow me or follow Eric, and either one of those will get you notified. All right, Aisha wants the bonus. I'm going to give it to her. The rest of y'all have to tune out and not listen, okay? Here's the bonus. The things that you desire, the goals that you have, these big, hairy, audacious goals that we spend so much time talking ourselves out of. I mean, be honest, right? We spend a tremendous amount of time talking ourselves out of why we should pursue this. Oh, it's too big. Oh, somebody's doing that already. Oh, what if it doesn't work? Oh, this. Oh, that. If we spent half as much time trying to achieve it as we did trying to talk ourselves out of it, we'd be unstoppable. But here's the thing. Those desires that are in your heart, those things that you need to create and manifest, do you know why they're there? They are there. Hey, Jessica, good morning. They are there. <laughs> I, I, I've said this many times. We are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed for a reason, to do something special, to do work that matters. Those desires are what help us do work that matters. They are our proof that what we desire is inspired and reserved just for us. Otherwise, we wouldn't desire them. I mean, if you don't like broccoli, <laughs> Catherine will laugh at this. If you don't like broccoli, when you look at a plate of it, it's like, ugh, broccoli. But if you love broccoli, oh, man, broccoli. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So desires have a lot to do with the things that you pursue. Why is that? Because we are hardwired to pursue those things. And those desires are just the proof that that hardwiring already exists. It's already yours. You just have to go claim it. And yet we sit here, <coughs> sit here and do our best to talk our, ourselves out of it. Thank you, Aisha. I appreciate that. I hope that uh, today's conversation has been helpful. If you have gained any little piece of value out of this, please do me and your network a favor. Share this video with them. Let them know what you got. Just leave a comment on it. Let them know or comment, you know. I guess it's not a comment. It's up at the top. Anyway, let them know what you got out of today's show. Uh, share that post out on your network. They will ascribe that value to you because you turned them on to today's content. I will ascribe great value to you for sharing that content with your, with your network. All right. One more time. Not sure what the status of the coffee shop show is today. Just have to tune in to find out. I know I'm not going to be on it. I am on the road this morning. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow morning. That'll be Thursday. Th yes, Thursday. Thursday morning. I'll be back with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a terrific Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. And I will talk to you again in the morning. Take care.